Today we're gonna put a hitch on a Chevy Equinox. My name is Rhonda. I'm with 746-044 from Katy, Texas. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. We're gonna start off with a pair of safety goggles and a pair of pliers. We're gonna take this piece off and we're gonna get up underneath here and we've gotta squeeze it together and so that it'll come out of this hole. So there's a little plastic clip right here you need to squeeze it together with your pliers and that helps push it down through the little hole that holds it in. I'm going to just pull down on it a little bit here, get it started. Okay, once we get that side started, we can get the other side on the driver's side. All right, once that's out, then you take them both out, and then you just pull straight down on your clips, and it pulls right out of the, right out of place. On this vehicle, it's got a nice clean cut. It's already pre-cut for the hitch. It'll slide right up into place, and it's really great that Chevy does that for us. So this vehicle has two different options. On this particular vehicle, it's going to have the feed option where we have to feed the bolt down through the line. We're going to run it down through and pull the bolt down, which means we're going to use this option with the plate and the bolt. The bolt fits down in here and locks into position and you put the bolt on. We're going to feed this through and put the bolt on. So that means that this vehicle is going to have some extra bolts. You got two that aren't going to be used. So you will have these extra at the end. You will need these to put in the sides on both sides, the left and the right. So we're going to take our long fish line. We're going to go through the driver's side hole here and run it all the way out to the end of the frame where there's a big hole down here. Being careful not to let your line fall through and pull it all the way out. I'm just going to put your bolt onto your end of your fish line. It's like you were screwing it into a nut. And once you have that secured, you gotta just hold on to your line, push your plate up in there first so that it'll slide across the floor of the frame until it comes out the bottom. So now we're gonna do the passenger side. We're gonna take, get our bolt together and our washer. We're going to take the, the line and go through the hole and it's going to come out the end of the passenger side. And again, you want to make sure you don't pull your line all the way through and attach your bolt to the end of the fish by just screwing it in like you're screwing it into a bolt. All right, then you're just gonna feed your plate in first. And now you have both your lines. Now we can put the hitch into place. So using our U-Haul hitch jack, we're gonna pull our hitch up into place. And once we have it lined up, we're gonna put our lines through the holes to keep our bolts from going back up into the frame. And we're gonna raise the hitch up into place. All right. Now we're gonna just pull the plastic back a little bit and ensure that our bolts are down underneath. Okay, we're gonna pull the, the plastic back away so you can see that the bolt is down into place. Now we're gonna start on the passenger side. We're gonna make sure our holes are lined up on the side and we're gonna go ahead and put a, the bolts in just slightly to ensure that it stays in place while we do the driver's side. See this right here? This is a sealant that comes on the car and sometimes you just have to take a flathead screwdriver and push up on it so that the hitch will slide up into place so that your holes will line up. All right, so now that you've got your holes lined up, 
You take your bolt and your washer with your conical teeth, slide it on, making sure that the teeth are facing up so that when you torque it down, that it will tighten up nice and snug on the hitch. Okay, and you're gonna repeat the process with the second one. Okay, repeat the process with the second one. All right, and now we're gonna do the driver's side. Make sure that your teeth are facing up. Okay. And the second one. So you want to make sure that you have them hand tight so that you're ensuring that you're not cross threading them. By doing it by hand tight, you're making sure that they're going in nice and smooth so that when you hit them with the electric drill that it's not going to cross thread them. So now that you have them hand tight, we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way so that we can do our center bolts. So we're just gonna put our hands back here and pull this back a little bit so that we can take our uh, fish lines off of the bolts. Okay. So after you take your fish line off, you're just gonna pull back slightly on the rubber and you can put your hand up in there and you'll be able to see that you've got your bolt there and you're just gonna put that nut on there nice and slow. And again, hand tight. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. And from the angle I'm sitting, I can see what I'm doing right through the center of this plastic. And again, you're just gonna do a hand tight. Then you're gonna get your impact gun and tighten them down. All right, so once you have your 19 on your uh, gun, you're gonna go ahead and slide it up in there. Make sure it's secured onto the head of the bolt and then go ahead and tighten it up. So for your upper bolts, you're gonna to need to add a swivel on there so that your gun will be able to bend enough so that you'll be able to get it hooked onto the nut properly so you'll get a secure fit. All right, once you're locked in, Now we'll do the passenger side. And I can go ahead and do the bottom one as well. So now we're gonna tighten up the two in the center. You're gonna need your extension and the swivel to be able to get past everything. So you're gonna pull back on the plastic again, ensure that your socket is over your bolt completely. And do the other side. Make sure your socket is over your nut completely. Pull back on the plastic. So now we're gonna to torque it. The two on the sides, both the passenger and the driver's side are at 79 
and your centers are at 110. So we're going to start with our 79. And go ahead and set it at 79. And we're going to start on the bottom one. Make sure your socket's over the all the way over the bolt. And there it goes. We got that one. Get this top one. Make sure it's nice and snug. And there it goes. Okay, let's do the passenger side. And there it goes. And the top one. Make sure your bolt is all the, your socket is all the way onto the bolt. And there it goes. Now we have our torque wrench set at 110, so we can get up in here. I'm going to pull the plastic back a little bit. Make sure that our socket is seated firmly on the nut. Now we're on the passenger side. And we're done. All right, so now we're finished with our hitch. You have a nice two inch receiver with a nice lip, the 5 8 hole for the pin and the two holes for the change so that you can secure any trailer that you'd like to use for with U-Haul. You can use it for a bike rack or a basket. And that concludes our install for the Chevy Equinox. Thanks. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.